Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vibe and Wise. So today is Monday, and that means we're using Burning You Best You Bell. Yes, now is this deck has replaced uh, You Bell Beat, so we will be using this now on Monday. So this deck might need some changes and improvement as time progresses because I don't play Burning Abyss, nor do I know say that I know how to play the deck. But uh, we'll just have to go with it. So hopefully uh, I open up fine. Hopefully the deck works fine. And hopefully we can keep this on Vibe and Wise for uh, you know a while. Cool minute. Oh, until the deck maybe gets hit majorly. So, uh, this hand's okay. This hand is not terrible. So, I can actually go ahead and uh, control a monster. If you control a monster, then there's one that was like if you can special summon this card from your hand or something. So, uh, you can special summon this card from your hand. Is you control no spell and traps. Is that all of them? Yeah, it is. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. So I guess I'll go ahead and uh, special summon you. Uh, normal summon you. Overlay into our mighty overlord Dante. Dante's Inferno up in here. Go ahead and, uh, Foolish. I'll go ahead and drop you bell. So, so far, this hand is actually pretty good. Pretty good. It has some interesting play. So, uh, like I said, uh, it might take me a while to get this deck 100, but I am actually looking forward to, uh, using it. So, uh, if you guys are looking forward to seeing it, you know. Because, you know, one of, one of my unspoken rules, well, it's probably spoken, but it's not like I don't, I don't stick to it like 100. But one of the rules that I definitely go with is that, uh, oh, I didn't use Dante effect. Oh, well, it's okay. I forgot. Like I said, that's going to take me a while. I oh, know you should use Dante's effect when you summon him, always when you summon him. So you can get that mill off. Uh... At least I have a nice big old booty. So, what is the other guy's material effect? Uh, can you read it? This card sent out a special summon one burning abyss card from your deck. Okay. Alright. <sighs> so, as I said, it may take me a while to get this, but eventually, I know some of you guys were like, wait, how do you bell have synergy with it? Uh, well, if I get my rank up Magic Astro Force, I can make a Pleiades, and Pleiades can actually bounce my tear to my hand, I'll get all Then I don't have a, a Pleiades and an Ultimate Knight, that's pretty scary. It's pretty scary, so, uh, you know, I'll be able to at least do some of them plays. Okay, well, this is resolved. So, so yeah, I'm gonna try, uh, like I said, it may take me a while. At least my opening hand was pretty good. But like I said, it may take me a while before I, you know, get into the, the smooth mid-groove of things. Yeah, like I should have definitely just went ahead and detached. I should have detached a uh, uh, graph. But I totally forgot. I was like, no, 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 no. Wow, okay. He is just going ham right now. Yep, well, this is resolved. Go ahead and put that in the graveyard for me. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you got the Lone Fire too? You you have not normal summoned. You you have now you normal summoned, but god, you you've just been special summoned, special summoned, special summoned. Or it's freaking Maxi when you need one. He probably would have stopped. So who are you gonna synchro into? With my nice twenty five booty where I would get fight. Oh, he's gonna summon Dandelion. Okay, what's he gonna go for our mighties? Catastrophe? Caster. Mighty's isn't strong enough to get in my booty, so it's gotta be Catastrophe. Who I've not seen in a cool minute. Yup, Catastrophe. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and kill me? Alright. Uh, 
Dante, Dante effect, uh, and who else effect? Graph effect, graph effect. So I can go ahead and uh, I'll add. Oh wow, you just scoop it up! Like wow, okay. I wonder if that's, if that's how this deck is gonna go for a while. Just people just quitting. Because, you know, it's a top tier deck and no one wants to duel a top tier deck. Even if it has Yubel in it, people don't want to duel against a top tier deck. You're like, no! Not the top tier deck! My only weakness! I'm melting! Damn, I didn't even do anything bad. This deck doesn't even have that much bad pro. It doesn't have like 20 billion pieces of bad pro. Oh, this deck is actually opening up pretty well. I don't, I don't know what's up, but it is opening up pretty well. Oh, okay. Light Swings. Well, guess it's time to figure out if, uh, if this deck can take Light Swings or not. Oh, Melvin Necro Guard now. That's a pain in the butt. Oh, there's Broke Charge. Dalius too. So I guess I can go ahead, I control so I can Special Summon, Special Summon. No, special summon, normal summon, and then XC. You can target Burning Abyss Monster here in Graveyard. So I wanted to attach him. So I can special summon from my back, right? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and special summon, normal summon, XC into our mighty overlord Dante. Who says this? Uh, this card attacks, it has changed the defense position. I think it's Okay. What does this say? He can block one of my attacks. He push. Negate the next attack. But it doesn't say I can't declare it. So if he wants to go ahead and block it, we'll still go to defense mode. Man, I, I can whip out the Dante's. I just need that rank up magic. That's what I need. So why I'm not getting that. Alright. So I'll use my effect. Uh, this question from your deck, okay. That, I will detach, I will mill three. One. Oh, oh, put that in the grave. Two, three. Uh, and then I will get a uh, graph effect. Do I want graph effects? That's, that's, that's the question. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I want graph effect. I want graph effect because I have a burning abyss on the field. So I summon a burning abyss from my deck. So who do I want from my deck? Oh, I'm already going to be getting pretty much everybody. I'm getting you during here. So I guess I'll go ahead and just summon you. And then I'll get another one of you. So, yeah. Because I need to, I need to start servicing some of them damn tour guides so strong. Alright, and I'll run you over, unless you want to block. Choice is yours. Okay. Alright, uh... Scarm effect. Go ahead and give me a tour guide. Go ahead. Like I said, he's gonna definitely use this right and, and summon something, synchro into something. Oh, light sword. Honestly, I hate going against luck based decks. Makes me feel stupid. Black Rose? Oh, wait, I thought the tuner had to be light. Nope, one. No, 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 no. The non tuner has to be light. The non tuner was dark. Let's go ahead and gain your your light points back. You can go into Black Rose. May not be the wisest of moves. Cause I'll still be getting my effect on. Go 
Go ahead and go into backwards if you want to. Nope, he's just gonna end. Leave it like that. Wow, double wyvern. All right. This is banished. <laughs> double wyvern. Look at this guy's luck. He's like, lucky yo, da na na, da na na na. <laughs> Well, hope next turn I'm gonna summon tour guide. Scram will die. Summon another one from my deck. It's like will be negative, so it won't get popped. Uh, go ahead and make another Dante, and then I'll have two Dantes who can pretty much sit there and touch each other. And that sounds fine to me. Actually, no, I don't even need to summon my tour guide. I can just summon him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just summon him. I'm gonna summon you. First, go ahead and overlay into our um our almighty um, ruler Dante. Is there anybody else I want to go into? No, there's no point in going to Alucard. So, yep, almighty ruler Dante. Another attack. Attack. I will detach and mill three. One, two, three. God, I'm not. The mill is real, and then I get uh my detach so what do you do uh sorry scenario you're traveling very much in okay okay uh i'll get star effect uh other don oop dante effect uh who do i want to detach what do you do oh that's the same guy so not him, so I'll detach scram. And one, two, three. I am not milling regular form you bell. That's what I need to mill. So I can start playing some earth. Alright, and I need some rank up magic up in here. Ah, I should have attacked the neck and the right in. I fucked up. I should have attacked the right in. I should have attacked the right in. Why didn't I attack the right in? Oh, he's just gonna let him die. It's really surprising. Okay, these guys go back to defense position. Defense, defense. How many does he have? He has one, two, two. Alright. Uh. Go ahead. Nice juicy booty. Oh, I get scrum effect. My bad. Scrum effect. Scrum effect. I get my scrum effect. Scrum effect. My bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get my last tour guide. Oh, I got two tour guides. I'm starting to run out of freaking uh, threes, I guess. I mean, two Dantes is enough. Like I said, I've never dueled Burnabas. I know they're a top tier deck, but I've never dueled them. Oh, wonderful meal. What a great meal. That's a lot of decks for you. What can I say? I'm not one to talk right now, but at least I'm not completely reliant on luck right now. I got plays in my hand, I just don't need to play them at this current time. Do I even have any more warriors in my deck? No, I don't. Nope, I have the two Armageddon Knights, three, and then one Dark Nefer. Nope, I don't. Wow. Alright, uh, I guess I'll just set this to scare the shit out of my opponent. He'll probably be like, ah, Lila, lie, destroy it! Like, and they'll pop it and it'll be Rona. I'll be like, why the hell did you let Rona get destroyed? And I'll be like, shut up! I have my reasons. And I'm out of tour guides too, because I milled my third one. Yep. Yep, yes I did. I milled my third ones. Back in my day, we didn't meal our tour guides. We just left them on the field to do their our dirty work. All right, so I'm gonna send another Getty Knight. You will die. Uh, fact. I will go ahead and drop you, Bell. Good. Cause I need some you Bell in my life. I milled all. Did I mill all three of my mass chameleons? I milled two. So, <laughs> sorry, God. That's, there's some serious milling and shit that I don't want to mill. Uh, of course we'll go ahead and go, uh, uh, Dante, oh, if I do this, friggin, he's gonna just die. Yeah, I, I, uh, whatever I summon, right, cause it's from my graveyard, whatever I summon is just gonna die, cause I have Armageddon Knight on the field, so, 
That may not be the best of moves, so maybe I'll just actually keep my material and just attack for the thousand. I can take this duel slow. As I said, Dante has a nice 25 booty. He doesn't even use his effects, just when he attacks, so I'll just go to defense mode. Oh, well, of course, draw your card. Draw your card. Uh, draw your. Yeah, okay. So that's mandatory. You have to draw. So, all right. Defense. I'll go ahead and set the limit verse because I have him that shit will he hit the fan. He's just not mill enough light swords. He's only still only mill two different names. So it's not even JD time. Like I said, these two are just gonna sit there and touch each other. So when they're both destroyed, I can use their effect. One could target the one, the other, and the other one could target something else, and then they'll keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And that would be nice. But that's one way. If I can get off double Dante and have Terra on the field, you know you 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 banish first. Wow, you're going to banish the JD from your hand instead of the other Wyvern. Okay. So you're going to banish the JD to go to JD? I don't understand. <laughs> your plays are weird. Wow, you're not going to kill my Armageddon Knight. Really? Oh, I got Phoenix Wound William Blast. Still not sure how I feel about that card. That's ridiculous, man. Who's gonna try to do deck me out? I seriously doubt it. I can still send uh Ultimate I mean Terra Incarnate. Or Phantom Chaos, actually. Yeah, I'm running out of little guys you two left. It's ridiculous. Can I get some rank up magics? They're all pooling to the bottom of the damn deck. Like, can I get some of that? I would love to summon a Pleiades right now. Pleiades would be awesome. Uh. 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 I'm gonna cast Stell it. I'll cast Stell it. Wow, and right now there's nothing in my hand that I want to discard. This, this sucks, the struggle's real. Alright, turn to attack, turn to attack. There's probably nothing. Oh, I can end this. I can end this, like, right now. Although, whoever I summon with Sir would just... Whoever I summon with Sir would surely die. BCC, surly instead of, instead of Sir would be... Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, if this card is not really mine. Burning a bitch in graveyard spells or something. Like that. Okay, so not the best of plays, but I should be able to end this duel. So and, uh, it depends on what he pops with Raiko, actually. So I'll go ahead and go Dante. Effect. Is it mandatory? Do I have to do it? You can. Okay, so now one, two, three. Ah, okay. That was kind of a terrible mill. Alright. You two should be enough, so you can go ahead and kill. Kill that Raikou. So it depends on what he pops his Raikou. Oh, he, never mind. He has a, he has a Necro Guard now. That he can block. Uh, is this what he says she, when she's sent to the graveyard, period? Hand or deck to the graveyard. Okay. I'll go ahead and talk you for that thousand. And then you can go for that game, but you have the Necro Guard now. If you remember to use it. Yeah, okay. Maybe still go back to defense position. Um, he has one, two, three. Still only has three names. Let's do 
Still only three names. <sighs> so I just made the extra deck off of just sort of like regular extra decks, but this looks a little bit different. Did Helios? Okay. Uh, once we turn your gun on your target, one seven one sure and pawn control, and then plug it to the top of the bottom of the bat. Target? Uh... Sure. Wow, you really do not want to attack. Like, the back row's not even that scary, bruh. Back row's not even that scary, bruh. Do I have any more Burning Abyss monsters in my deck? The summon with tour guide? I don't think so. Uh, one, two, three, you. One, two. I only have two of you? Really? And where's the other guy? One, two, you. No, I didn't. I didn't mill them all. So I guess I can do that. I'll go uh, do a guide. Right. Uh, yep, I still got some. Uh, yeah. Yeah, then one. A uh, Dedalius, though. I have nothing for oh I could just put it on top of the deck. I could just oh yeah, I could just put it on top of the deck and then install. The Phoenix. Go ahead and go for the Alucard. Alucard effect. Detach, blow that up. Uh Yep. Go ahead and get your effect. Get your effect. It is okay. Okay, I'm not even gonna go into detail because it's probably gonna argue with me. Okay, whatever. Because they'll probably just argue with me, so it's not even worth it. Top of the deck, yep. Alright, so, seems a little bit interesting. Interesting place. But we'll keep working on it. If you guys have any suggestions, be sure to. Uh, you know, I might need a little bit more offense with the back row than I would usually have in other decks in this one. But yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Play Glitchy Bell. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Burning and Bissy Bell. Thanks for watching.